Hi, welcome all. So this is episode four of the personal style series. Today we're going to talk about personal colors. Um, I know that I made uh, a long form video and I made multiple TikToks about finding your personal colors. And I think that a lot of people are still struggling with how to find your personal colors. Um, there is six color schemes that is you know commonly used with color palettes. Um, so I kind of talked about it, you know, um, I think I am going to also I'd only adjust four of it, you know, in the color, in how to select your personal colors based on your aesthetic. So if you look at the back over here, you know, I kind of give a very typical what you would think about color palette, you know, with the minimalist here, you see it's a very neutral color palette. And then if you see like a maximal style aesthetic, there's a very, you know, bold color variations of the maximalist and the feminist style aesthetic. I also, you know, gave you a feminist style aesthetic, what you typically think of as a color palette for feminist style aesthetic. And then for edgy style aesthetic, you know, I gave you also options of a color palette. Um, so these are just the general, you know, um, color palette, uh, how we typically associate with color palettes based on the style aesthetic. Um, so beyond that, you know, um, I kind of want to get you out of the mindset of, you know, you can't wear this color or you can't wear that color. Um, I said like in my long form video on YouTube that you can definitely wear any color. It's just a matter of finding the right shade. And I think like a lot of people are afraid of colors because typically everyone is promoting this neutral color as the ideal color palette that you should have. But if you hate wearing neutrals, it doesn't make sense to, you know, force yourself into a square peg into a round hole kind of situation. So I kind of want to debunk this myth of, you know, this is your basic color palette and this is what you should have. If you ask me to hate these colors, it shouldn't be your colors. If these are the colors that you want to wear, then these could be your basic colors. You know, it's based on your personal style. Again, personal style is a representation of how you want to wear clothes and how you want to present yourself through fashion. And personal style is a, of a way of expressing your inner self as, you know, a first impression kind of thing, right? Where when people see you, they could kind of get a snap, quick picture of who you are kind of thing, right? Making an impression. Um, so I think that that's why I want to really talk about how colors really affect the way we visually see, you know, people or how we, you know, get a mood from colors. So that's why I want to just get people to embrace wearing colors if you want to wear colors and really finding the right shade, you know. Um, again, in the whole color um scheme there is hue so hue is just a, another word for colors you know so hue could be yellow hue could be purple hue could be beige hue could be black hue could be blue hue could be pink that's just colors you know and then the saturation is what we call tones it's the density so you can make something very dull by adding you know black into it or you could brighten it up with white you know so that's why i say like colors you can wear any kind of colors that you want you just a matter of finding the right shade of the color that you look good in and i've done a skin undertone video also to tell you you know how to wear you know colors that look really good on you um and it's a matter of just finding the right shade and my finding the right tone and finding the right tint. There's three elements in any color. So shade is basically adding black, you know, making it a little bit duller. You know, tint is making it brighter, you know. So usually like when you see neon colors, it's a, you consider it bright, right? But if you see like black and brown and all this stuff, right? People always just associate that's like a dark color. Um, 
So that's someone kind of kind of just get you into the mindset of being comfortable with colors and being able to figure out how to put colors into your wardrobe, you know, in a way that makes sense. So I'm going to show you, okay. There's a color scheme, you know, to everything. So here you have a, there's a color scheme, you know, to everything. So here you have a Maximo, you know, um, color palette. So if you look at the Maximo, you know, so it's really bright and bold, you know, and there, it, so it goes into a color scheme of the Detatric, you know, and that's a color scheme of how you would pair colors that looks visual pleasing. And again, like if you look back in, if you go check out the long form YouTube video, I explain everything about the six color scheme and how they work, you know, and how you can use it to select your colors. Um, so here is one color scheme for a maximal, and you can see that it's very bold and bright, you know, and it's very cheery and it's very in your face kind of aesthetic. And then I also give you an edgy, you know, um, color palette. So it's analogous. Analogous just means that the colors are kind of like right next to each other. They are adjacent to each other. So it's easy to kind of mix and match. And the idea of getting a color palette into your wardrobe is to find a way, an easy system for you to kind of mix and match colors that looks visually pleasing. The reason why there's six, these six color palettes all promoted is because they are tested to be visually pleasing to the eyes and the way you create the color schemes. So if you look at, if you figure out how to use, you know, one of the six color schemes to pick out your color, and it doesn't have to be, you know, the analogous. Analogous is just a more variety of a monochromatic color scheme. You know, it's just adjacent of two colors. So you can use, you know, monochromatic colors, but with two colors that are adjacent to each other. So then you create like an edgy color palette for yourself. And when I talk about edgy, you know, I talk about it in forms, in the terms of being a masculine kind of aesthetic, right? Where you have tailoring. It's very associated with, you know, linear lines and masculine and androgynous aesthetic, you know, and details. So that's why, like, this color palette works for this aesthetic. Then we go into a feminine style aesthetic. Is the triadic color scheme. So you can see that, you know, you are picking three colors, you know, in the color wheel. So you have your pink shades, pink and purple shades here. You have your green shades here. You have your yellow shades. And then you go and pick your six colors. And I always say like six colors is a good system to have because it's not too many colors that, you know, it's hard for you to, you know, mix and match. But it's not limiting to two little colors where you don't know how to pair the colors, you know, um, or you don't have enough variety of, you know, interest in, in your wardrobe. Um, and then another color palette is, you know, what I say is the split complementary. So you're kind of finding, you know, analogous color schemes and then you, they're opposite of each other. So this really works well with a minimal style aesthetic. Um, so again, like in picking colors, you know, first you have to find out like what colors do you like, you know, to wear and then try on the colors. Don't be afraid to try on colors. Go try it out, you know, take pictures of yourself wearing those colors because sometimes, you know, we think we look a certain way and it could be just the lighting of the fitting room or the room that you're in. So I would just go and like try on different colors, take pictures and look at yourself in those colors. Do you like it? How you look in those pictures? Does it give you like that good feeling? Because I think like f what I really want to emphasize is that I want you to get you to a point that, you know, you are comfortable with the clothes you're wearing, the colors, the silhouette, the design details, and then finding a way to create a cohesive look, you know, that is more like, when I say it's a style uniform, 
is finding a set of views that you can create multiple times over and over again with the clothes in your wardrobe to create like a look for yourself. When people see you, they know that that's your look, right? So when I say, if I say Rick Owens, you could counter exactly the colors that Rick Owens wear, the silhouettes that he wears, and the design details that he's wearing. If I said Bessie Johnson, you could also counter up the design details that she's wearing, the colors that she's wearing, and the silhouettes that she's wearing. If I say Phoebe Philo, you could also counter up, you know, the colors that she's going to wear, the design details that she's going to wear, and the silhouettes she's going to wear. So that's why I say, like, when we're talking about personal style, it's not just this minimalist or maximalist. I think it's like taking the design details of what you like and the colors that you like and then in the silhouettes you like and meshing it together into a uniform that makes sense that you could repeat over and over and over again with the pieces in your wardrobe that makes sense that you can create outfits. You know, that's why like when I talk about colors in your personal style, it's a way in a system to mix and match outfits together in an easy way that's manageable that you don't have the stressor of does this color look good together does it work if i wear this would it make sense would it would i like wearing it do i do i feel like it represents my personal style and the way i represent myself that's why i think like colors it really matters in your wardrobe and your aesthetic you know and that's why I'm dedicating an entire episode to discussing colors. And if you have any questions, feel free to drop in a comment. Um, in the second part of this live, I will address the comments and I will answer all the comments. And again, um, if you're new to my lives, all my lives play on YouTube after I stream. After I do the live, it streams on to YouTube. The week after so like monday or tuesday it will be on youtube so don't worry if you miss anything um i'm making it you know the content that i put out be useful and be available to you you know even if you can't join me in the live i know that i can only do the live according to my schedule and when i have availability and you can't join me you know based on your availability this is why i also put it out in youtube um anyway so here i want to kind of also bring bring it up like um fashion designers how they use different colors in their color scheme right in their collection and why colors matter right so i've said phoebe philo you know she has a very minimal style aesthetic you know and if you see like her, her runway shows she uses a very neutral color palette it all ties into her aesthetic and what she wears and stuff like that if you think about phoebe philo you wouldn't w think about her wearing you know a bright yellow per se right or like electric blue or a hot pink you know, you would typically see her in very neutral color palette, you know, and she does this in her runway shows too. So that's what I mean, like, when you are creating a wardrobe for yourself, like, it has to have a look, right? And, and just because I'm giving you these four basic, and I, again, I say it's these four very basic aesthetic, you can combine any of these elements you know whether you like the the silhouette of the minimalist but let's just say that you like the color palette of the edgy style aesthetic but you like you know the design details of a feminine you can mix and match your know, different elements you know to create your own unique style and your own unique colors you know um and again it's just a matter of finding a way of pairing things that makes sense and being cohesive in it that you could make it you know universally used in your everyday life in your everyday lifestyle so it's not a matter of you know me saying that you only should wear these colors within this style setting you can wear you know muted pinks muted greens you know in a minimal style aesthetic because that's your preference, you know, and that's the colors that you like. You could also bring in bright colors into the design details of the minimalist 
aesthetic. You could also like the bold design details of a maximalist aesthetic, but you like the color pairing of a minimalist aesthetic. There's a way of mixing matching. And that's why when I get, if you follow me on TikTok and you are doing the challenge, the wardrobe curation challenge, I gave you, you know, tasks to do. I said, don't worry about getting it perfect. Don't worry about it mixing, you know, that it looks like you're being pulled in all, all different directions. Mixing, you know, that it looks like you're being pulled in all, all different directions. Mixing, you know, that it looks like you're being pulled in all, all different directions. Your style is uniquely to your own, you know, and I want you to get comfortable with all the things that you think that doesn't make sense. You know, create, go to the challenge. I will give you guidelines on how to address each one of your difficulties of, I don't think it makes sense. I don't think it works. I don't know how to pair it together. I don't know, like, I like this color, but then I like this detail. It all makes sense. Like in design, you know, if you look at, every, if you look at the runways, you know, um, and it also fashion brands, a lot of times if you look at break down the elements of each brand, there's a little bit of everything, you know, in the collection. You just need to figure out what it is. And sometimes the really, the really messy collections are the, the ones that kind of take a lot of these elements and mesh it together but when you see on the runway it looks cohesive and that's the thing about personal style you know it's in relation to the brand is being creative and taking creative license with these four basic you know um aesthetics being creative and taking creative license with these four basic you know um aesthetics and then creating your own unique brand for yourself and that's the thing about personal style is your own unique signature your own way of self-expression and i think like the too many people are just taking the route of looking at fashion influencers and seeing their style and trying to, to copy cookie co copy it you you can't cookie copy something someone else does because unless you have the same body type body proportions you have the same look, you know, he, your features and all this stuff. It's hard to emulate and cookie cutter a, a fashion stylist look into your lifestyle. There's a way of taking elements of what you like from a fashion influencer and incorporating into your life and your personal style that makes sense to you. Um, so anyway, I am going to take some questions. So if you have any questions about how to find your colors for your personal style, um, drop in a comment and I will do my best to answer your questions now. And then, um, okay. Um, so the J, love all your posts. I find your I find you so real refreshing. I try to, you know, be real. I try not just create content to really be helpful. And you see that, you know, everything I do on all my different various platforms is centered about fashion because that's my comfort zone. That's the thing that I know. I don't talk about cooking, even though I cook because it's not my expertise. My expertise is in fashion, having worked in fashion for over 30 years for like a lot of brands, like over 50 brands, just a lot of them. You know, I work for them. I work for some companies full time. I've done consulting, just a lot of stuff, you know, in my c career in fashion. Um, okay, so without having to drastically different, uh, am I missing a comment? Okay. Uh, okay, so yes, in regards of, you know, not having to go out to buy, you know, new clothes. And again, you know, I am a big proponent of not over consuming on fashion, but making the buy, you know, new clothes. And again, you know, I am a big proponent of not over consuming on fashion. But making the pieces that you have 
in your wardrobe work for you. You know, it's a matter of, you know, finding different ways of styling it. And I try to give you like styling hacks that are more universal. I don't tell you like do exactly this or do exactly that. I give you a general guideline of how to create different looks, you know, with what you have. It's not, a lot of the pieces that we have and a lot of the stuff that we see on the runway, there's really nothing really majorly new on the runway in terms of looks. You know, there are a lot of innovative, new creative design details that are kind of mix and match into it. And that's all has to do with styling, you know. And that's why I think I've done like three videos on runway looks and how, what the styling details are, what the elements are in breaking it down to what are the categories, whether it's a statement style, it's a central style, or an accent piece. I break down what the color pairing, what the color palette of the runway show is. You know, I select the six colors that's universally represented in the runway show. So you can see that a lot of, of brands do use the six colors that I talk about. And then I also talk about like the silhouettes and things like that. So I break it down so this way you can see that while the styles, if you look at it it's by itself, it's not uniquely new, but the way it's style and the way it's designed and proportions and things like that, that's the newness. Um, and that's the thing that I want people to get comfortable with. And I'm giving you what I know on how designers design. And I, because I work with so many different brands throughout my career, I know that you know, everyone uses the same kind of rules, but they interpret it differently in the set of rules that they use. So that's what I'm trying to universally create for you. A set of rules that are practical, that's universal, but it's giving you creative license to use these rules for yourself that in a way that it makes sense to you, in the way you adapt it, in the way that you are gonna develop your personal style. And I, I keep emphasizing this, Personal style is personal to you. It doesn't need to make sense to anyone else as long, as long as it makes you feel good. If you look at everyone who talks about fashion, everyone has a unique look. And if you look at the street fashion, the reason why we love street fashion so much is because people are creating their own unique look. You don't pay attention to the to the people who are doing street style that are giving cookie cutter looks. You are you are more impressed with people that create like different looks, you know, unique looks. I think I follow, you know, maybe four or five accounts on street style here in New York City. And I follow a lot of street styles all across the world, whether it's in South Korea, whether it's in Singapore, whether it's in Thailand, whether it's in Taiwan, whether it's in Brazil, like whether it's in Paris, whether it's in Milan. I follow a lot of different areas to get, you know, what the style aesthetic is for different regions. And again, all across the globe, Everyone have their own unique style, you know, and the way it looks. And I can say that overall, it, different regions have different takes on fashion. So I think like if you really want to really understand about style, you also need to see what's out there, see what everyone else is doing, you know, that's different. Not what everyone else is doing, that's like a sheep. because. You could go out on the street, and if you want to be a sheep, you could go out and find people, 20 people that look, that have the same look. It's very easy to, to find and spot 20 people that have the same look. You could find 20 influencers that, that do the same generic look. You know, but find those gems of people who have their own unique take on styling and taking very classic pieces but creating something that's so different that you're like wow how did that person do that i want to do that i like that i like that that detail that the person did that's what i'm trying to get you to you know think about and create your own signature look is taking elements when i talk about inspiration in terms of street style from fashion influencers, or even runway shows, is figuring out what the elements are and then finding out what the elements that you like about a look. And then figuring out like, 
how do I take the elements and then making it my own with the pieces I have in my closet, with the colors I have that I like to wear? Because while that person might like to wear green and that I like, you know, that that per that person wearing green. I know I'm not gonna ever wear green, but you know what? The way that person does either like a color pairing, or maybe there's a design detail of the outfit that I can take away, or maybe it's a way of, look, I like the green. How do I add in the green with what I already have? Is it a matter of act adding it as an accent? You know, an accent means meaning that it's a necessary. Like I could add it as a scarf. Let's just say that. I wear a very neutral palette, but I suddenly want to wear green. I do an accessory, you know, a, like a cop, pop of color, an accent into it and incorporating it. So I'm not taking away from what I would typically wear, but I am adding an additional element, you know. So you're not, you're not going and recreating and buying a whole bunch of green outfits or buying a whole bunch of, you know, other color outfits to match that green. You're just using the same exact wardrobe pieces that you have, but you are adding a pop of green into what you already have. That's the takeaway. Um, so let me see if there's any more comments. Um, and then if there's not, I'm going to wrap it up the live. How do you decide between cool and warm? I'm in between neutral and I can't really tell. So if you can't tell your your warm and cool palette, I have a long form video on YouTube and explaining exactly what it is. So you could look at that long form video and then you should be able to figure it out what your skin and the tone is and what works. And again, Every color, I, I've said every color has a warm and cool shade into them. So you can absolutely wear any color. You just have to find the right one that looks good on you. So pink comes in warm and cool tones. So you have to have to, the best way I can say without knowing you is to go find a cool tone and a warm tone of a color that you like. Wear it walking around different lighting in the department store. And just see if you like the color that looks good on you. You know, take snap a picture. You know, get a second opinion. If you go shopping with a friend, ask the second opinion. You know, um, that's the best advice I can tell you. And the neutral, there is a neutral undertone. You know, and if you are in a neutral skin undertone, you can pretty much wear cool and warm tone. There's no, there's no like you can wear. You have to wear either this or that. That's a great thing about having a neutral undertone is that you have a wider range of colors that you can select from and shades and, and tones and tints. Um, if you look at the colors video and my long form video, I explain everything about it as clearly as I can in skin undertone, in the tints, the colors, and the the saturation and the shades everything that you could possibly need up need to know about colors i answer in that video because i take in all your comments and a lot of times in you know from your comments whether it's on youtube whether it's here on tiktok i take in all your comments even in my dms on instagram i take in all of it before i create long form videos to answer all your questions so i would just definitely check out that video um okay sometimes i see the elements but my body may not fit but okay sometimes i see the elements by my body type may not fit my body type how do i take these elements so the elements is is I break it down to three things, right? Is in style aesthetic is one is the design detail, two is the colors, and three is the silhouettes, right? So if you're talking about it does not fit into your body type, it's a matter of silhouettes. So you have to figure out what your silhouette is, and you could still take the elements of the design and the color, and it's just a matter of switching out the silhouettes, right? So let's just say that you saw a uh, uh um, shift dress, right? Let's just say it's very it's very linear, but you have a very curvy body type. So you would go into like a fit and flare, right? Because you want to accentuate your body type, right? So you would go and find like a sundress and not a tank dress. 
So it has like a waist definition and emphasize your body type, your silhouette. Um, does that make sense? So um, I hope that helps. Anyway, um, okay. If you don't have any more questions, I will wrap up this live and I will be back next Friday for another episode of Personal Style Series. So I will see you next week. Bye.